Hey up, I'm Dave. It's been a while. Regular viewers will know. I broke my thumb a little bit using this hammer. Since then, I've been about two months in recovery and I've finally got the go ahead from the doctors to do a little bit of stretching and start building my strength back up. Oh yeah, and the splint, it's gone. Uh, so it's just a case of getting back to full power. That's about as strong as I ever was. And now I should be able, carefully, to get back to doing stuff. All kinds of wonderful things. That's maybe too soon. In the name of safety, I'll go Tiny Hammer. Oh. Oh, feel better than ever. Right, let's get going. <laughs> is for Olivia, our long suffering olive tree, which has just lived in this pocket thing for years now. I'm gonna finally get something that looks a little bit more nice, hopefully. There's an aeroplane flying over. I don't know if the mic will pick that up. I suspect it will. But anyway, the patio, eagle eye viewers, you may notice it looks slightly different. Now, I sort of made the choice because I've been tickling away at it, doing little dribs and drabs. I didn't film any of it, but it's all stuff which are on my previous videos anyway. Digging gravel, laying bags of gravel, putting a wooden border down. That video is actually doing quite well, to be honest. Um, a video of me previously laying gravel and a wooden edge near the shed. That's doing great, so, so no reason to film it again. The only difference is when I laid the wooden border on the previous section of gravel path, I hammered wooden stakes into the floor. This time I didn't really fancy hammering anything. So what's holding this wooden border in place is two of the most powerful forces in the universe, optimism and gravity. But yeah, apart from that load of jet washing, and some flat pack furniture and a parasol so i don't think any of it was worth making a video of if if you disagree well sorry i can't really do anything about that now but anyway planter for olivia let's get going <laughs> Work it just a little bit. 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 Work it just a little bit.
just a little bit. Work it 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 just a little bit. Work it. Work it. Work it. Just a little bit.
might have done that. You shall not destroy my feet. I know what I'm trying to do, but I should have drawn a picture first. It feels like I built it twice already and all I've made is a mess. I'm hoping it'll come together at the end and I'm hoping I don't drop anything on my feet. But right, I've had a little think and what I can't figure out is why I'm building it on a set when I built a perfectly good base should stand it up and build it. That'll surely be easier. Until it's not. Okay, where I went wrong, I cut out my pieces, but I put it back the same way it came off. Or did I? Or did I? I don't know what I did. I did summit. Summit didn't look right. My brain hurts. It looks right now anyway. It's nearly square. It's not bad for me. It's more square than workshop. But not square as something square. Oh well. So I am putting a top on it like I did on the rest of the garden planters. I was going to go fancy and do 45 degree mitre cuts. But seeing as how the box isn't square, slightly out but it's still out, it does seem like that would be a bit of a thankless task. Stick to what I know. Viva la crap boy. Build a heavier one next time, uh, just for fun. <laughs> 